Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa if you haven't been here before. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be going over my August favorites. So I'm not doing trial style or anything. We're just going to go through them and talk about them. So if that's something you want to see, then keep on watching. Alright, so first and foremost, one thing that I have been loving is these BK brushes. I got the Brit Clark set, her favorite set, but I also got two additional ones. And I am loving these brushes. I use them today. I use them the day, but I've pretty much been using them since I got them. Now, the one-on-one -on -one brush, I've kind of been going through and using the Sigma Multitasker, which is also a new favorite. So I haven't used it as much, but I've been using these every time I do my makeup. I am loving those brushes. Next is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Mm -hmm. I have been loving this foundation. I've been using it a ton. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just so refreshing. It stays. It doesn't cake. It just is the perfect foundation, especially if you have normal to dry skin. Um, I know some people have had some issues having oily skin using it, and some people haven't. So uh, I think it's kind of more rounded out to where you can use it if you're oily or if you're dry some, for the most part. But I've really been loving this foundation. Next is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Undetectable Super Longwear Foundation. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful foundation. It just leaves my skin so gorgeous. I have been loving it. It's also mask friendly. Um, it's not trans transfer proof. Um, so you're going to be able to wear a mask without having your makeup going all in your mask. Uh, it's, it's a matte foundation, obviously, but it doesn't look super matte. It isn't super drying. Uh, it would be good even if you have dry skin, I think, as well. So that's kind of the general idea of these two foundations. It kind of goes for both ways. It, you know, it, you can use it if you're oily. You can use it if you're dry. Just really loving those two foundations. Next is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in Light. Y'all know that I have been loving this because I've used this in every single video just about. This is a perfect powder. It leaves your under eyes so smooth. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't make your eyes look dry and nasty. It is just a beautiful, beautiful powder. Now, I've heard that this is supposedly a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Her under eye, well, it's not just an under eye powder, but a lot of people use it on their under eyes because it is so smoothing. But I don't know because I don't have that. I'm not bougie enough to, to buy the Charlotte Tilbury powder. But this is supposedly a dupe for it. Next is all of the Garden Variety Blush and Lip Oil Duos. I have been loving these, especially the Tearing Up My Heart. This one, the uh, Aloe there. The, I have been loving this one. Also, the Herb Appeal with Whole Nine Yards and Local Time. This one, I've been loving it. So, just all of the blushes I have been loving. You can't go wrong with any of these blushes or lipples. And that uh, goes to the next thing. I can just go ahead and talk about it. The ColourPop Lipples. I have been loving these. I put on this every time I, before I come on camera to moisturize my lips. They're moisturizing. They feel so good on the lips. I'm really, really loving these lip oils. I'm so glad they came out with these. Next is the Wild Nothing Blushes. You got the Peachy Blush, which is Wayfarer. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then you have the kind of bronzy blush that's called Crossroads. 
which is also a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. Mm -hmm. So these two blushes I have really been loving. I've been using them quite a bit. They're just gorgeous on the skin and I'm so glad that I got them and I've been using them this month. Another thing that kind of goes with that same theme is the Jelly Munch Shadows in a Mystical from the Wild Nothing collection and then the Jelly Munch Shadow in Cigaro, Cigario from the um, Garden Variety. So that is Mystical. Just a gorgeous pinky color. Kind of a pinky peach color. Really, really gorgeous. The other one is a Cigaro that I used in my look when I did the Garden Variety collection. So if you want to see what it looks like on, you can go check that out. But this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's kind of a burnt orange. Oh, but it has glitter in it. It's just, it's gorgeous. So, if you want to see what it looks like on, then just go check out that video. Next, I have been loving Juvia's Place Nomad Palette. It is just the most gorgeous, gorgeous fall colors. I love it. I'm so excited to keep using it. Just the greens and the yellows. It is just so, 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 so gorgeous. So, this is one of the Juvia's Place palettes I've been loving. I've also been loving the Wahala palette. Just a beautiful, cohesive palette. You've got so many things that you can do. you got the blues and the pinks the greens, and then you have this kind of neutrally rogue here, then you have the purples. So just such beautiful, beautiful colors that you can make beautiful looks. So that I have been loving, loving the Juvia's Place Wahala palette. Pretty much I've been loving Juvia's Place. I have actually have quite a bit of Juvia's Place palettes because the uh, Nomad palette was the first palette that I tried from Juvia's Place. And then I got the Wahala palette and just fell in love even more. So I bought some more Juvia's Place palettes so far. I have nine and I have more coming. <laughs> I think I went a little overboard, but that's all right. Um, they were having a big sale and then Ulta was having 20% off too that you could use towards the Juvia's Place palette. So I, I bought a few. I have really, really been loving Juvia's Place's formula. Their eyeshadows are just gorgeous. So, I guess you can say I'm, I've been loving Juvia's Place, period. <laughs> Next is the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I have been loving, 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 loving this palette. Especially this shade down here, this kind of ready red shade. It kind of looks, it's more red, but it kind of reminds me of the Cigaro shade a little bit, but it's more red than orange. So, the Bliss is the name of the shade, but I have been loving this palette, using it constantly. So, this is just a beautiful palette. And if you love bronzes, you will not go wrong with this palette, I promise you. Another palette I have been loving is the Naked Ultraviolet Palette. It is just gorgeous. I love all the purples. I love that it has the browns that you can add into the purples. I just love, 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 love this palette. The blue in there, I love it mixed in with the purples. The look that I did, and you can go back and look at that too. Um, with the, let's see, what did I use? Euphoric. I used Optimize, Euphoric, and Lucid. So, this, this one, this one, and then this one. And I had this one on my outer corner, 
this one on the inner corner and then this one in my crease and it was just a gorgeous gorgeous look my husband actually when i was laying down on his chest and i had my eyes closed he was his oh that's so pretty that's so beautiful what what are you wearing <laughs> so yeah it's a gorgeous gorgeous palette i'm loving it the next palette that i'm loving and the last palette that i'm loving is the sydney grace tiny marbles palette it is beautiful it's colorful but not too colorful I love this scarab shade up here. It is just gorgeous, especially on the eyelid. Meadowhawk right here is a beautiful shade as well. Also, uh, Fire Butts is a gorgeous shade. I'm just super excited about this palette. I love playing with this palette. Um, this is actually my extra palette because one of my shades broke in my other palette. And they actually sent me out a, a brand new palette because one of my shades broke. You know, I would have picked it up, but it, it did kind of get all over the place. But for the most part, I probably could have handled, but they just sent out a brand new palette to me. So I'm saving this and using the other one right now, but I thought I'd show y'all the nice one. But I am so so excited for Mel, everybody loving her collab. And I'll probably do more looks with all of these palettes, really. Especially try to get some fall looks going up with some of these palettes. Next is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I have been loving this concealer. Y'all might know because I use it all the time, it seems like. But it's just pigmented. It's full coverage. It is just a beautiful concealer. My under eyes always look gorgeous and don't look cakey whenever I use this concealer. Another thing, I got it in like a Sephora Loves lipstick box or whatever is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. I've been wearing this a whole lot and been loving it. It is just beautiful. But along those same lines, I've also been loving the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I have in three shades. I have Moon, Amber, and Topaz. But they are just beautiful. The formula is similar to the Fenty Gloss Balm formula. So if you don't have the Fenty Gloss Balm money, but you want something similar, this would be a great buy. I think it's just a great buy, period, because it is a great lip gloss. Um, it, it doesn't sting, but what it does is it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's supposed to take the water and keep the water and all the moisture in your lips to make them look plumper because hyaluronic acid kind of keeps the moisture in. So that's kind of what it does. I don't, I don't want to get all scientific on you guys, but <laughs> that's kind of what it does. It doesn't sting or anything like that. It just uses the hyaluronic acid to kind of keep the moisture in to plump them up. So I'm loving, loving, loving these lip glosses. Um, another thing that's skincare related is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic with 5% Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. I have been loving using this in my skincare, using it after I wash my face. I just put this on and it exfoliates my face and my face just feels so smooth and looks so much brighter. So I have been loving this. Uh, this is almost gone. This is um, my Emberlease Laboratories Lilac Cream Multifunctioning Nourishing Moisturizer. That's pretty much what it is. It's just a cream and it's made by a um, Emberlease. It's like a makeup company, so it's good under makeup. 
as for all skin types it is just a great all-around moisturizer you can also mm -hmm. use it as a primer as a moisturizing primer but I'll, I use it as my moisturizer because I just love it. It's not too thick, but it's just thick enough that it gives me enough moisture that I need. So I've been loving that. I've also been loving three setting sprays. The Ciate London Everyday Vacay. It just smells so great. I don't know how great it does at keeping my makeup on, but it smells so good going on. It kind of tames down any like dryness that I might have after I put on my makeup so normally the set and sprays that I use are kind of luminous type set and sprays anyways um the Milani fruit fetish make it last mango coconut scented setting spray mm -hmm. I have been loving this as well it also smells great and it's got that great Milani make it last formula that mm -hmm. everybody loves so that is another favorite for this month and also i've been loving using the l'oreal lumi shake and glow dew mist i love this in the summer it just looks so gorgeous on so i've just been using it quite a bit so this has been one of my favorites so i think that's all my favorites i kind of went through them fast but there was quite a few, so I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been loving this month. If you if you like the video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to become a part of our family. And ring the bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video and my amazing content. I always say that, so i got to say it. Um, also, I am almost to 25 subscribers, so if you want to share and tell your friends, your family, um, we're almost to 25 so we can do our giveaway. I actually have a couple more palettes that I can give away as well, so the first will probably have their pick of whichever one they want. So just keep that in mind. Let everybody know, shout it from the rooftops, that Melissa needs one more subscriber, okay? All right. So <laughs> I think that's going to be all for me, and I guess I'm just going to talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.